the different uh, migrant organizations under the banner of Asian Migrants Coordinating Body. So we are here today to submit a petition letter to the Office of the Legislator, um, Ms. Elizabeth Wan and Mr. Frankie Ngan. So the migrants community are condemning the racist and very discriminatory statement of the said two legislator last week. So Ms. Watt referring the migrant domestic workers as a product or as a commodity is unacceptable to the migrants community who's been contributing a lot to the Hong Kong society. May we remind these two legislator that migrant domestic workers is a human being. We are not a product but as consumable or a disposable. We are workers, we are not slaves. That's why today we we are here and we are angry with this um continuously discriminating and singling out migrant domestic workers. And another point that we want to raise today is about the malicious accusations of the uh, immigration department and the and Mr. Franklin about job hacking. Job hopping or changing employer is not a crime. It's not because we are domestic workers, we don't have a right to change and to aim a better working condition. We are workers, so we have all these rights. And under the labor ordinance of Hong Kong, we have the right to terminate our contract if our condition is not good. So why these two legislators, the, the so-called, hopefully they are the model, the role model in Hong Kong society, are saying this very uh, repressive and discriminatory statement against the migrant workers who's helping the, the Hong Kong families. So today, um, uh, my colleagues from different organizations wants to say also something before we submit our formal petition to the office of Ms. Elizabeth Watt and Mr. Frankinan. So may I call on Lia Kerante, the representative of United Filipinos in Hong Kong. Understand organization and individual petition. Organization and individuals petition to legislator Elizabeth Watt and Frank Kinnan to urgently stop the racist attack and malicious accusation of accusing migrant domestic workers as a job helper. Changing job is not a crime. Aspiring to be treated humane and noble. Last week, print and social media are filled with the shameless and repulsive statement of Ms. Quat referring migrant domestic worker as a product. That does not match the employer description. Migrant domestic workers are workers and human beings, not the product nor commodities but are consumable and easily Having mindset like this one is highly condemnable and unacceptable in Hong Kong, where we do believe, we do believe that the majority of Hong Kong, Hong Kong people are not racist and respectful of the rights and well-being of people, especially the most vulnerable sector, like the, like the migrant domestic worker. Moreover, the claim and proposal made by the lawmaker, Mr. Frankinian, to curb job hopping by cutting short the already notorious and anti migrant policy, the two week rule, which has seven days, is regressive and bringing Hong Kong back to the age of slavery. Ms. Quat and Ms. Mr. Nan should realize that the migrant domestic workers are one of the most abused and exploited working people in Hong Kong. Their contribution.
Foundation of the Development of Hong Kong Economy remain unrecognized. If some migrant domestic workers, if some domestic workers decide to leave the employer or terminate their contract, it is because of ill and inhumane treatment of unbearable working and living condition. There are well documented facts that cases that Ms. Twan and Mr. Nan, Nan can easily verify by simply checking on the annual report of migrant surfing and, and charitable institution providing service and assistance to the distressed migrant worker, make the mission for migrant workers and become house, house of migrant worker report. Thank you very much. We are workers. We are workers. We are workers. We are workers. Okay. So now let's hear the voice from um, Indonesian Migrant Workers Union and Pilar. Um, JP. Okay. Good morning, everyone. Um, my name is JP. I'm come from. Indonesian, uh, United Indonesian again of Oversetting and Indonesian Migrant Work Workers Union. So um, this is our petition. Uh, job hopping is a myth, a make-believe story. If migrant domestic workers decide to terminate their contract prematurely, she or he will have to leave Hong Kong within 14 days, pay a huge amount of money to employment agency, and will have to remain in employment for six to eight weeks hoping and praying for the immigration to grant their working visa. No migrant worker in her or his right mind will be forced to terminate his, terminate his or her, contra her contract under this condition and restriction on its increase. If she or he is treated humanly and justly, we argue the office of Ms. Huat and Mr. Ngan instead of attacking and single, singling out the migrant domestic workers. Use your petition, your position to make Hong Kong society more inclusive and respectful of the right on will be and of the people, especially the most vulnerable sector. Stop instigating conflict and destroying the good relationship between employer and migrants. Stop using migrant domestic workers to gain popularity to advance your political career. Because in doing this thing, you are bringing shame and portraying Hong Kong as a racist and unfair society. We demand in public apology, we demand a public apology for your disrespect migrant, toward migrant domestic workers. Enough of your malicious and baseless accusation of job hopping. Support the migrant domestic worker campaign to regulate working hour. One of the reasons for migrant workers to terminate their contract as they have a bad working condition and conduct dialogue with the migrant to know about what is the reality of the migrant sector. Don't talk about us without further investigation. We further argue Ms. Quad and Mr. Ngan to create laws that will improve the protection of the of both the employer and migrant domestic worker instead. Laws that will, laws that will recognize their important contribution to Hong Kong and economic and will ensure equal and just treatment of Hong Kong society to hundreds of thousands made of migrant domestic workers. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you, JP and Leah from um, our migrants organizations who read the petition letter of the migrant of the Asian Migrants Coordinating Body. We are workers. We are Yes to inclusion. Yes. No discrimination. So now let's hear um to wrap up our protest for today. Um let's hear from Sring Atin, the spokesperson of Asian Migrants Coordinating Body and a uh, member of Indonesian Migrant Workers Union. We are workers. We are not slaves. We are come here to condemn the racist from the legislative member Elizabeth Watt 
and also Mr. Wan. This is not the first time they give a bad comment to migrant domestic workers. And then they cannot accept this kind of act. This legislative member is trying to promote Hong Kong as the practice of modern day slavery. And then not recognize the contribution of migrant domestic workers in Hong Kong. Here, we come together as migrant workers because we want to recognize as workers, as women. And, then, and we, we need to stop their action. Against, in Hong Kong, domestic worker is suffering a lot because we don't have regulating of working hours. There is no regulation on rest hours. And especially during pandemic COVID-19, we are left behind. Hong Kong government didn't give any sense while they give many kind of culture to Hong Kong society. And it hurt, it hurt hundreds of migrant domestic workers. And again, today, we hear again from the legislative member, they are just promoting domestic worker as slave in Hong Kong. We know employer in Hong Kong need helper. We cannot imagine Hong Kong without workers. Employer can earn more money. They can find job so they can survive. In the same time, we come here to find job because we want to support our family. If they complain about migrant workers, please complain to our governments. If they complain about our description, please complain to our government and Hong Kong government. Because this is the responsibility of the Hong Kong government. How they give training to migrant domestic workers. So we know what the expectation of the employers. We come in Hong Kong, try our best, how to understand the need of other employers. And our employer is not one only. In one house, maybe we can serve five, ten people. Do they understand about our condition? This year, 2022, we received 225 complaints. Migrant domestic worker they terminate their contract. Doesn't mean that they don't want to continue to work in Hong Kong. But they cannot stay with the bad employer. During COVID-19, we need to do more job. Because home from school, the school from home, work from home. And government doesn't give anything to us. So again, we cannot accept this kind of racism from the legislative member. And we hope the, the other legislative member support our demand, support the equality in Hong Kong. Because against we are human, we are worker, just recognize us as worker. Support our demand to make sure that Hong Kong government also regulate working hour to us. So we also asking the representative of the AB party to have dialogue with us. Don't talk about us without us. You don't know the reality. We will tell you the reality of domestic worker. We have data. We have case. We have so many evidence. We have so many witness. We are the witness how bad our condition in Hong Kong. So today, we also asking our our Hong Kong government how they are respond to this kind of comment. Do they agree with this kind of action? And also we asking our supporter to stop this kind of action to promote racism discrimination in Hong Kong. Again, this is not our end of protest action. We will continue to do action on 5th of March on International Domestic on International Women's Day. We want to show the Hong Kong governments that we are workers. We are not only one, we are not only few, we are many representatives of workers in Hong Kong. We are workers. We are workers. We are not slaves. Thank you. Thank you, Sri. So we are workers. Yes, to inclusion. No discrimination. Yes. The migrants united. Okay. So now for the past, uh, for the past two 
days, we are contacting the office of legislator Elizabeth Watt, and they, they, they are not uh, answering. But hopefully there is a representative from the Legislative Council that will that will uh, receive our petition. So maybe call on. Is there any representative from the... Okay. Okay. Thanks. So because they, they didn't send any representative here to face the migrant workers that they are abusing as a job hopper and they call as a product, so we will just drop our petition letter to their office right uh, in that gate. So later the police will assist us to drop our our letter. Again, this is not the end of our continuous asserting about our rights and welfare as a migrant workers. So thank you also to our media friends and to all the Hong Kong people, our group employers that came today support the uh, advocate the migrant wor workers rights and welfare so we still do believe that majority of the hong kong people are very good employers only this um two powerful legislator elizabeth Quat and frank Nan, can just raise a very discriminative and racist statement against the one of the minorities uh, people in Hong Kong, the domestic migrant workers. So we will end our protest for today, but we will come back until uh, we don't get any response from the office of this uh, of Mr. Uh, Frankie Nan and Elizabeth Watt. So we are workers. We are, workers. We are not slaves. The people united. Yes to inclusion. No discrimination. Thank you, everyone, and have a good day. Good morning, readers of Hong Kong Free Press. We will go to the um. Okay, so they will assist us to drop our petition letter. Uh, may we call on Nani? Where is Nani? Okay. String JP, can you help us? Alia. Okay, so this is our petition letter. So we will, uh, we will drop this one in the mailbox. Where are we going? Yeah. Okay. So let's take a photo first before we go to to the mailbox. Okay. 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 Legislator Frankie Yan last Wednesday. So according to the proposal of uh, legislator Frankie An, he's cracking down on domestic workers' job hopping behavior. And his proposal is that uh, at, for, at the moment, any foreign domestic workers quit their jobs. We only have 14 days to 
find another job or otherwise they will be forced to return to their home country. And the legislature suggests that the window should be half to seven days. And the unions of women domestic workers uh, argued that job hopping is actually a myth and the, the domestic workers left their employers only because of the bad working conditions. And the protesters are also running against a statement made by uh, another lawmaker, Elizabeth Quad. It was because that uh, Quad also talked last Wednesday in the Legislative Council that uh, some of the domestic workers don't match, don't match their product descriptions when they come to Hong Kong. And the unions found the statement by Quad racist. So uh, this is the main reason why these two unions, uh, why, why these group of unions come to the Legislative Council today to submit a petition against the two legislators. Good afternoon. Do you mind? Do, do you mind if I ask you some questions? I'm a reporter from Hong Kong Free Press. Can you like tell us about like how big the impact will be if they really half the window from 14 days to seven days? For like, if, uh -huh. okay, okay. So okay, so I will wait for them. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. No, no worries. No worries. Yes, for inclusion. No discrimination. Yes, for inclusion. No discrimination. We are workers. We are workers. We are not We are not Thank you so to, to all our friends and migrant um, organizations that came here to support our fight as a migrant workers. So um, on this coming week, we have different um, protest actions or um, activities that we're going to to do and we're still going to highlight this um, um, racist and discriminatory attack to the migrant community. So have a good day everyone. Thank you. Keep safe. Uh, is it okay for me to ask you a bit of your questions on the on video? I'm doing a piece of right? Yeah, okay, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so uh, we we know that the legislators are trying to like cut the 14, 14 days uh, window between like your your change of jobs to seven days. And yeah. how big of an impact that will bring to uh, from the domestic workers actually? Actually, the COVID rules is already a repressive policy. Even the UN body already saying the Hong Kong government, they should abolish the two-week rules. 
but then they are proposing seven days um seven days uh rule that's so insane because for a migrant domestic workers who come here um we need to pay so much uh fees to the agency for example for me as a filipino worker so if i go back home and process my papers there i need to pay another agency fees so that costs a lot to us so that's why um the COVID rules is already problematic and we already asking the hong kong government to review this kind of, of policy and how much more if it becomes seven days and before like i think to, before 2000 there's no COVID rules at all if you get terminated you can just easily apply or you, you can just easily process your paper and with your visa here in hong kong but after 2000 they imposed this two-week rule policy so meaning from all these years the 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 policies that make that they are making are really not in favorable with the conditions of the migrant domestic workers and the termination is not only in our end we're not the only one who's terminating our contract as what we said terminating our contract is the last thing that we 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 we, we, we will do because of those so much um need or requirements in order for us to come back in Hong Kong. So many termination is also the employer is also the one who's terminating terminating them. So that's why the question is why why they are criminalizing migrant workers for being terminated even they are not the one who terminated their contract. I mean, also want to know like what will actually happen to the community of uh foreign domestic workers when this uh let's say one week rule imposed with like we will need to pay a lot more to the agencies or we, a lot of you actually being forced to return to your home countries because you can't find another job if, within one week yeah and like in the end will that actually hurt Hong Kong's families or yeah. like, right. maybe they, the impact yeah if they said uh, they because they said or they statement that we are abusing our employers that we are aiming for the one month view of notice for air ticket again how much is the one month view of notice and how much is the air ticket in exchange for how many months that we're not go that we go back home two to three months without any income without job and with another agency fee so there's no migrant workers who who are in a right con a right mind terminate their contract that easily only if their condition is unbearable or their working conditions is not really good it, so that's why we said the job happy is a myth it's just only a story it's, it's just only a make-believe story it's never existing because how well, for the sake of the argument if we want to change employers so what's wrong with that What's wrong to job hop just because we are migrant domestic workers and they thought that we don't have a right to change or to eat a better working conditions? So if that's if that's their argument, so that's merely uh, um, um, an evidence of the discrimination and racism and singling out migrant domestic workers in the Hong Kong society. We do believe. Hong Kong society is a very, this is our second home. Majority of us, half of our life is already in Hong Kong. We raise the kids like them. You know? We raise the kids of the Hong Kong families. We, we, we take care of them as, as our own child. So this kind of contributions that we are contributing in the Hong Kong society is not even recognized by, 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 by some policies. That's why we are calling, we are demanding to, to legislator Elizabeth Watt and legislator Frank Kinan use their power to, to create a law that both employers, both migrants and Hong Kong, Hong Kong people can coexist with a harmonious relationship and don't divide the people. Don't make conflict between employer and employee because our employers are really good. 
employers. Our, our friends are in all aspects. They are good people. There's many good um, Hong Kong people. So they, they should be a role model. They should be a role model of, of, of a good um, um, treatment to the minorities of Hong Kong society. Thank you. Thank you. So, thank you for watching the live stream of Hong Kong Free Press. This is Peter Lee reporting at the central government offices. Thank you for watching.